Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and today we're adding some more plants to the angelfish tank. Yeah, when George from over at Acroballs sent us these amazing avatar angels, which are already grown by the way, it's been about a month since we unboxed them and put them in this tank, um, they're starting to look a little greenish blue, they're starting to get bigger, but they're still doing fine in this tank. We decided, however, because of the extra load of nitrates and waste products, we're going to take some of those plants. What are the names of those? Yes, check your science out here. What are the names of those plants he sent us? Hygrophilia and Wisteria. Yeah, so there's one called Wisteria, and there's one called Hygrophilia that he sent us. One They're is really, a little really cool. more partially looking and uh, leafy, and one is more, well, I think that one's more leafy, but it's a little stocky. That one's more stemmy, and that one's a little bit more tree looking. Stemmy and stocky. True. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. When you have an under gravel filter, you have to be careful. Now, we do have pots and things we can put them in, but we didn't want to stick these right down here because the roots can go down there, mess up the under gravel filter, right? That's where these little guys come in. These little guys are five for a dollar at our local little greenhouse. The same greenhouse we took these it's guys bad, to. Actually. No, it's not. 20 cents, man. This is the same greenhouse we took you guys to when we were building our filter for our pond and all that kind of stuff. It's right down the street from our house. Now you might say, hey, but what about that little hole? What we did is we took a little bit of silicone, <laughs> filled in that little hole, let it dry, <laughs> filled in that little hole, let it dry. What we did is we took some of the substrate, so we're going to kind of turn this around and we're going to kind of show you what we did here. We almost forgot. We wanted to do a quick, quick follow-up on the epistogrammas that George gave us. When he sent these angels, he gave us two little epistogrammas. They are absolutely gorgeous and cute. And we, at the time, put them into Jack's bridge tanks. And there's one of Jeff Pelham's uh, snails that he sent us. So Jeff's snails and George's epistogrammas are doing amazing in here. The other one is way up here at the top of this 20 tall. They actually just ate, and we totally forgot to mention them. They just ate. That's why he's sitting there at the top. He was like, yummy. Look at these cute little guys. They've grown a little bit. They haven't really ventured through the bridge to the other tank, but they're really kind of digging this holy rock, and they've kind of been hanging out in here, and they're growing, and they're making some friends, and they're doing awesome. Look at these little guys. So we just want to do a little follow-up on them too. Hopefully they'll continue to grow. They do kind of sometimes hang out in this log too. But hopefully they'll continue to grow and come through the bridges. Oop. <laughs> this guy just zipped out of the bridge. He was just in the bridge and just zipped out and he's cleaning something now. Look at this big male Grammy too. So hopefully they'll start to venture through the bridges and maybe go to the other tanks. They're just a little too small. They're just kind of hanging out in here, but we did want to show them. They are doing super, super cool. Oh, here, let me show this guy. He's over here on this side. They're kind of hanging out in here. Look at those cute little dudes, huh? They're doing awesome. It's really trying to focus on the roots instead of the fish. So, there we go. Look at him, he's looking right at the camera. Super cool, super cool guys. So anyway, just wanted to share those two because a lot of people have asked how they're doing. They're doing awesome. All right, Jack just put some food in for these guys so you can see them eat. Just wanted to show the bamboos really sprouting up there. I'm actually sitting down in front of the tank, really shooting up. So we're going to be trimming that soon. And, you know, obviously we have plans for that and everything. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see a little better. He put a whole bunch of food in for these guys. We did put some algae wafers in here earlier, which they do pick at, along with the galaxy plecos. There's one of the Galaxy Plecos right there. And he's doing awesome. The other one that we got from Something Fishy uh, about a month ago is doing fantastic. So the three of them are getting along. We'll see if one of them is a female and if they end up breeding. Um, just a little update on these angels. You can really start to see when they go under the lights there. You can really start to see the blue and green on their tops of their heads and their face area there. They're actually referred to as green turkey avatar angels, but a lot of people say blue avatar or green avatar or blue green avatar. But anyway, they're doing really, really, really good. So here, over here, well, let's talk about this guy first of all, because this thing's doing awesome. 
All the Anubias is doing fantastic. We haven't lost any. In fact, some of it is growing. Look at this one plant right here, Dudio. I mean, look at that one just exploding. Tons of leaves coming off this Anubias. When we put all these angels in here, of course, that added a lot more kind of waste products for these plants to grow. And they are doing awesome. We have broadleaf Anubias and thin leaf Anubias on this big eucalyptus trunk. And it's really looking like a huge tree, doing fantastic. Now we did move these caves around. There's two caves in the back for the plecos. We're hoping the galaxies are able to reproduce. We may even add more galaxies. This big guy we put sideways in there as well because we want to make room for these. So what we did is we took three of these little guys and put the, uh, I'm sorry, the hygrophilia over here. A lot of this hygrophilia has already started to grow. I'm gonna come around the side so you can see it's sprouting out of the middle there. See those small leaves kind of coming out of the middle there? So they're actually already growing and this one in particular has already grown a couple of inches in just a matter of about a month. So those guys are doing awesome. So again, what we did is we just tucked those down into the gravel and filled it in so they'll still get the nutrients and you know everything else and a great substrate. We just scoop the substrate up, put it in there and put them over there. That way they'll have you know room for roots and everything to grow. Now, if they start to get too tall, the nice part about these, you can just clip them off and you can repot them. We can add a few more pots if we want. We also put some of them up here that broke off into little pieces, but mostly it's the wisteria that's up here. You can see a tiny little piece. Now there are some floaters of leaves. These angels, even though they're small, have kind of been picking on these, haven't they, dude? Yep. I mean, it's amazing. They just, if you don't feed them, they just start tearing apart the plants, <laughs> especially this uh, yeah, wisteria. are gonna resort to, to, to being vegan, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of, of, a lot of uh, angels and grammys are omnivorous, so they will eat vegetables, uh, jacks, I mean, I mean, for a fish, uh, it's, it doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they do like the wisteria, wisteria, and they have been picking on it. So the little pieces we stuck up here, that won't get too long. Hopefully that'll kind of fill in. We can't really put the hydrophilia up there. It'll get too long. Um, there is a little piece of hydrophilia over here in this one, just because it broke off. If it gets too long, we can move it. But some wisteria over here. Now, this wisteria was some of the longer pieces, but again, they really picked on a lot of this. Now, chances are, if, it, if they keep picking at it and uprooting it, we may just, hey buddy, <laughs> you knew I had the camera on. So you see that blue green on his head when he gets under the light in the right light? And that's something, look how big they are. They're about 50% bigger than they were just three or four weeks ago. But anyway, if those short pieces come, we'll just put them up here on the tops of these pots and, and they'll fill that in nicely around the bamboo and that'll be great. And so if that doesn't work out, we'll end up just putting the, you know, hygrophilia over here when it gets trimmed. And again, we can add more pots. We might even put some over here next to the tree. Primarily, we're trying to kind of keep them in the back, you know, to kind of, like a lot of people do with plants, kind of hide the stack and hide the heater and stuff like that. Uh, initially, we thought they might be too close to the heater. At night, we have kept the windows open in this room and the heaters do turn on. We haven't seen any kind of problems, I think just because there's so much water flow with the under gravel filter and that, that the heat isn't really concentrated in that area. So I'm not concerned about that. So anyway, you can see some leaves and some pickings from these guys, but uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of giving them a little bit of hiding and they're picking at it and they're eating the food and it's really, really cool. They are digging this tank. Oh, that one looked really blue for a second there when he went back behind the yeah, light Yeah, sometimes there. they pick up the fluorescence of the light and they, or the look at, that, look at this guy. Boy, he, they, this guy loves the camera. They become, their skin ah, look at them. Blue. Yeah, and especially on their heads. Now, as they get older, we'll see more green and blue come out and stuff like that. But yeah, when they go under the LEDs on a certain light. Now, also, we have the colored lights on, which you can't see. What we're gonna do is a little bit later when this light, this light's gonna turn off in about an hour, this top light. And again, a lot of people have seen our under gravel lighting systems and background lighting systems. We put starry lights on the back of this and we put under gravel lights in these pots to glow and they do change colors. We just have them on green right now. Um, we usually put them on color changing because the green lantern tank, you know, is like so green over there that we just kind of want to, um, you know, make these guys just, you know, multicolored. But yeah, when these guys get close in the dark, look at that guy, look at the green coming through on him. When they come close to these lights at night, they really kind of light up. So we'll show you that too. But they're doing great. Are you just loving these guys, man? Yeah, the angelfish have such an intricate look to them. 
Like their their anatomy is so interesting. Well, those those front those front, you know, f- well they're they're referred to as fins, but we call them arms. You know, it's really kind of neat that they I mean, have they're, those. They're literally the evolutionary step of aerodynamics. Y- yeah, I mean they're so cool. They're aqua dynamics essentially. But they're, just so, so they're just cool. so cool. Like they just look like pancakes, and there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing to them. But and they're, they're so fast. Right. They're faster than people think. People think angelfish just sit around. They're really quick. And they kind of levitate too. They do. Like little spaceships. Like yeah. you don't really see them move their fins. Yeah, you don't see those side fins because they're very transparent. You can see this guy back here. You know when the light hits them just they're right. They're fast too. Yeah, you can see see those side fins, but you really don't notice them because they're so clear. Well, these guys are just loving their attention. They get a lot of attention being new and being in this tank. And, um, you know, we just love them. They are digging this tank. So hopefully these plants over here will continue to grow. Hopefully we'll get some more growth up there and up there. And again, if they keep messing with this, we'll put everything to the top and we'll transplant some of these. That's the nice part about these life plants is that you can, they can just propagate, you know, over and over and over. Um, let me see if I can see any more of these while we're at it. I don't think there's any in this cave. See, the way the reason we did these caves this way is so we could still see in them, but that they still had some protection. Now, there's there's the other galaxy. There's one of the other galaxies right there. And we're hoping that is a female. That's the newer one. A little bit smaller than the other two. And they seem to be getting along. And then the other one usually hides in side of the trunk in there. That's the one I just showed you. See how she's got like a dot right on the tip of her tail? How cool is that? So if you look, you can see in there, there's the other one we think is a male. See the tail kind of flipping around inside? Well, this guy's photobombing. Hi. Well, you can really see that green and blue on this one. Look at that. Wow, what a beauty. That's one of the bigger ones. We haven't seen any friction or anything in them yet, so that's cool. Um, We are going to be rescaping the 220 soon. That's kind of just finally gotten to the point where we're ready to kind of tear it down. There's Riot. We're going to be doing a video on Riot. If we haven't already, we may, depending on the order that we upload these, we may have already done a video on Riot. But uh, obviously some of these guys can go in there too, which we may do. So anyway, just want to do an update on the plants. Let me turn this light back on. Want to do an update on the plants. Want to do an update on the angels. And just kind of show how this is really coming along here since we went down to the 75. If you want, if you do have under gravel filter and you want to do some plants, you can use these. If you want to do individual one plant at a time and you just want to get these little guys, most garden centers, again, will sell them four or five for a dollar. There's George busting through. George, what's up, dude? He's not interested. He's going, he's going to see mommy. So anyway, totally awesome. We will put a little minute or two at the end of this video of the nighttime lights just for those who haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, the plants are looking great. Thanks again, George, right? Yeah, thanks. I mean, super awesome. We'll put a link for Aqua Balls, which is George. Pamela just did a drive-by. <laughs> She's probably like, I don't want to be in a movie. There's George following her. She's like, I don't want to be in a movie. I just got out of the shower, right? Hey, we'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. No.